Hi guys, my name is Nobu Kumalo. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, well, come back. A massive welcome to the new service. I know the family is growing each and every day. We have new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I hope you find this channel worth your while. And if it's your first time and you haven't clicked the subscribe button, please click the subscribe button. I promise you it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps my channel grow. And you know, also if you've been, you know, watching continuously, please also click the subscribe button. And I noticed that some of you miss my videos from time to time. So please click the notification bell. What that does is that each time I upload a video, you will be notified. So you will never miss anything. Anyway, so I always say that this channel is about adding value and helping each other. And so I figured, let me, on a lighter note, still adding value though, I figured let me film this because it's something that I've struggled with for a while. And I think I finally cracked the code. So guys, I have the most irritable sinuses, right? Um, you know, sinusitis for those, for those of you who don't know what it is. So basically it's a condition where your sinuses are so sensitive to maybe things like dust or strong fragrances. And so like when you smell those things or when you like inhale dust particles, it makes your sinuses like inflamed and itchy and sometimes like your nose itches or your eyes itch, right? And so for the longest time, like I totally held off like um, fragrances, right? So I would go for like, you know, good smelling lotion because I found that that doesn't really make my sinuses flare. But I had kind of like stopped the whole cologne and stuff because like each time I had, I had failed to find a cologne that works for me that won't like have me crying and having a terrible day. But I recently um, gave colognes a chance. Well, I can't, you know, take the credit for this. Special shout out to my friend Tando, my bestie Tando. Um, so I told her that, little friend, I'm looking for a nice cologne, you know. I think it's time to, like, try things. But I'm looking for something that is a bit um, friendly to, you know, for people like me with sinuses. And she recommended one scent. And then from there, it was literally, like... A rabbit hole and i was trying different scents on a side note though shameless plug this is not a you know sponsored or anything but if you struggle with sinuses like i do i would recommend that you buy this so i'm not sure if you can see and i'm not sure if it's available in every country but this vix inhaler stick is literally literally a lifesaver so i carry it in my bag everywhere i go and what i do is that you know each time Maybe if I'm in the tube or I'm in the office or wherever and I feel like my sinuses are starting to act up, um, I literally like just inhale this and it totally clears up my sinuses. You know how growing up, like if you had a flu or whatever, your parents, for some of us, you black is liagwa is what I'm talking about, ufuta, right? Where like your parents would like boil some water, put in some Vicks and maybe eucalyptus oil or something and they're like, put a blanket over your head and i know a lot of us did this during covid but this kind of has the same effect but it's so tiny it's almost the size of like a lip balm and like so this is what it looks like on the inside so you just inhale it and your sinuses will completely clear up so anyway back to the scent. so i also then you know did my research in terms of like what to look out for uh, in choosing a fragrance that is friendly for sin for people with sinusitis. So the advice that I came across was that you notice that sometimes when you're buying perfume, right, there's one that would be written um Eau de Parfume and then there are others that are written um Eau de Toilet. <laughs> Please forgive my pronunciation. But basically in the research that I did, apparently they say you should go for a perfume that is an out the toilet because it has um less percentage of fragrances. So it's about 10%, but the out the perfumes have like um 15 to 20% of fragrance. And so obviously if you're sensitive, you can consider correlation between a smaller percentage, better for your sinuses, larger percentage will probably like cause your sinuses to like flare up. And then in terms of actually choosing which uh, bases to go for, there is um, the advice that I saw is that go for simple scents, right? So things that have like vanilla, sandalwood, lavender, and rose. So that have, you know, that, that type of like line of scents will be very good for you. So I thought it would be good for me to not just like speak to you about how to choose a scent, but to share with you some of the scents that I've chosen that have worked for me. And guys, like... I now smell good. I smell grown up like 
a grown woman and I smell like money and all that. <laughs> but it was, it's, it's so liberating because I love to feel and smell, you know, and look good. So finally getting fragrances that will not work me up has been a lifesaver. So let's get straight into it. <music> yeah michael kors gorgeous so this is the one that my friend tando actually recommend you recommended and i absolutely absolutely love it it's so friendly and it smells it smells a bit sweet right S sweet and a bit peachy absolutely recommend um yeah absolutely recommend this one is surprisingly this is actually out the perfume but it's just so happened to work well for me so i, I like this one a lot and then this is a recent purchase, which is Miss Dior Rose and Roses. Um, I can't see if this is an Audi perfume or exactly. So this is an Audi toilet. I don't know if you guys can see right in there. It's written Audi toilet. Yeah, and this is a very recent purchase. You can see also that it's still, you know. So this one is Roses and Roses. So it smells more like rosy. Uh, whereas the first one smells a bit more like peachy so I, I must say that those two are a bit on the like high end in terms of prices yeah you can look them up you know in your country wherever you are and see the price but they, they, those two are a bit pricey I think they are both about 60 70 pounds which comes to about um each which comes to about a thousand four hundred rands or so but what I do is the good thing is that they're really strong so they last month so I think I bought this one like in, I don't know, March or April or something like that. And it's still going strong. Um, and then I recently bought this one when I was now confident uh, right now in August. So it's not like you're, buying, you're spending that much money every single month. It's like once in four months or whatever. And then another tip or something else that I found to work for me, even before I started colognes, are uh, body scents, right? So spritz uh where do i start okay so back back in the day when i was still in SA, i could not get enough of these also heavenly uh sprays these these are very light they are very playful and they are very you know they're just nice man and they're they, they were really good um on my sinuses and i still you know have this one and i use it from time to time it's also really good so i think you can go you know i know also heavenly i think stocks at clicks you can find a few of these i think uh then there's this one actually don't oh i also bought this one in SA. you see i love things things in SA. so where did i buy this once I've been clicks or this game again, this is another good one that's been good for me. Uh, it doesn't clog up my sinuses at all. So um, you can try this one as well. And then a dear friend of mine, uh, you know, a year or two ago, bought me like a gift set from Rituals. Uh, I know Rituals is there in the UK. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's there anywhere else, but I've seen um, shops in Harare that actually have stock Rituals. Maybe they import, I don't know, but it's a good, it's a good brand. And so I have these two. So there is this one, right? And you can see it's Indian rose and sweet almond oil, um, which is also like, again, it's, it's got a rose base. So it's really good for sinuses. Won't clog up your sinuses at all. And then we have uh, this one, right? And so the base for this one is cherry blossom, again, which is very nice and mild and like peachy cherry, also really good. And then another fragrance that I actually got from a friend a couple of years ago. I think it was for my, um, it must have been my bridal shower actually. But I actually didn't open it for a while because I was really scared for my sinuses. But it's been really good. So this one is called Gloria Vanderbilt or something like that. And this one is, is really affordable. It was about 10 or so pounds. So it's a really good one. And I just realized also that it's also an Audi toilet. You probably can't see that. But which is also very, very helpful. 
um yeah so these are my scents this is what i've been using of late very very sinus friendly i promise you your eyes will not itch but of course like it depends on your sensitivities right so uh, i'm just plugging you and sharing what has worked for me in the hopes that it's helpful for someone else so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will take the plunge and go out there and smell good smell like money and all the nice things i think as i add more and more fragrances maybe i'll be back with another video because i think i think i've started something here i might just go down the rabbit hole of being a collector but we'll see so anyway thank you guys for watching this light-hearted no, light-hearted video Ugh, bloopers light-hearted video i hope it was valuable to you please like please share please comment please subscribe and do all the things i'll see you guys again next time goodbye